Well, it's been a super saucy week. <laughs> yes, and uh, we're going to sauce it up some more. We are going to sauce it up some more, but we're going to the Middle East now. We're leaving the Western European types of sauces, and we're heading to the Middle East with a sauce by the name of tomb or garlic fluff. And so what I'm doing now is just kind of spreading that garlic sauce on top of these, our London broils, or top round roasts. They're the same roast. So if you um, get confused at the grocery store, don't. If you find a top round roast, that's it. I seasoned them, put them under the broiler for about 10 to 12 minutes. Of course, it depends on how thick the roasts are that you get. And then you can just temp them. I want to take them to about 135 degrees. And so those are just about ready. Spread some of that garlic fluff on it. We're going to let it sit now and be delicious. Starting off with a cup of freshly uh, peeled garlic here. And I just buy the garlic at Costco in these bags like this that are just so easy and convenient to have because they are, they're already peeled. I don't have to worry about it. And I think that's one of the, the craziest things when it comes to garlic for me is I don't enjoy peeling garlic. I've peeled enough of it in my lifetime. I like to find very easy things to do. So what I'm doing now in the food processor is just chopping that up into a fine paste. So scrape down that bowl as many times as you want to or need to to get that ground down. And trust me, your kitchen is going to smell wonderful. No vampires are going to come around it for sure because it's going to have that garlic overtone in it. Now, once you get that chopped down into a nice paste, we're still going to keep working on this, but I'm going to add into it, start to add the other components. So I'm going to add in some salt. The salt will actually act as a, kind of a grinding mechanism to help grind down the, the garlic in there. And then we're going to add in basically the juice of one lemon. And it's it's about a quarter cup of lemon juice, and I figure that's just about one lemon. So I'll keep working here. When we come back, I'll show you how to finish up this garlic fluff. What a great name, right? <laughs> I agree. <Yeah. laughs> All right, going in there. Oh, I'm almost done in here, Ron. So I've got the London broil. It's rested. I've sliced it up into some pieces there that we're going to put onto it. We're going to finish up the gar uh, garlic fluff here. And what I'm doing is the connection, this is an emulsified sauce. So like a hollandaise from yesterday, mayonnaise is another favorite one and the food processors are great because they have feed tubes that they come with with little holes in the bottom of them and so I'm just going to go ahead and pour the last cup of oil and I'm just using a vegetable oil in there and I'll let that just while the machine is running it'll drizzle down into there and create the final emulsification that's what I have here that I made earlier uh, and you can just store it right in the refrigerator. It's easy to do in a sealable container. And I use it as a spread, much like mayonnaise. And so just put it on there. You could look at it in the sense of it is an eggless mayonnaise. And so spread that onto there. And then I'm using Miko's Microgreens here. Now you can go to uh, Miko'sMicroFarm.com for these. They were very generous and brought some in for me, and I love it going to put these onto here just like that over the top of those and then you can add really whatever you want so I'm going to put some sliced tomatoes and I'm serving on pita bread so you can pick it up like a taco and eat those so let's put a couple of slices on there a couple on there I'm going to also add on to it some mozzarella cheese you can use whatever kind of cheese you so choose and then I'm going to add our London bro broil slices on there. And this now has finished, it looks, it sounds like, I don't know if you could hear the change in the sound of it uh, to where it looks like it is done now. And it's a beautiful emulsified creamy sauce that is perfect for spreads like this. You can use it on grilled meats, on salads. You can use it as a dip, however you want to. Head on over to KUTV.com for the recipe or to cookingwithchefbrian.com for the recipe and enjoy a little taste of the Middle East, guys. That looks really good. Yeah, yeah. it does. Okay, I'm excited.